Bologna has been more beautiful than I ever expected it to be. I wanted to go to some place that was a real slice of Italian life. Every time you walk through the city, it kind of feels like a walk through history. Even walking on one street, just you can see the difference in terms of style. It's always breathtaking. I had heard a lot about Bologna as being a town that was, was very, very intimate. It's just the color of the city. There's a lot of orange and red. Like everything is painted that color. They were the ones that offered the most immersive experience because I really wanted to be in a program where I was forced to practice Italian all the time and where I could really just get right into the university experience as if I were an Italian university student. You actually got to take classes at the university. You weren't just taking classes with a bunch of American students in English while happening to be in Italy. Uh, another thing I really liked about the Brown Bologna program was just the fact that they uh, surround you with uh, essentially Italian culture. You live with Italians who actually chose this apartment because they really want to help and they're really there to uh, help you with your Italian and you end up becoming friends. So you also get something known as a language partner. It's, I think, the most beautiful thing ever. An Italian friend who you can get to practice the language with. Uh, they help you things like buy your first Italian cell phone, or they introduce you to your friends, or they can ask, they can answer questions about the weird Italian exam system. Those three things, just like how different it is in comparison to even other programs in Bologna. The Brown and Bologna program also organizes a bunch of activities around Bologna and a lot of trips museums and we've done a lot of walking around Bologna. To know the city, to get to know its history, I think, a really wonderful thing. Not only did you learn about wonderful art, but you also got to practice your Italian with other students, with a professional guide. The Brown Bologna program has done a wonderful job in terms of transitioning you, especially during the first month. So during that time, you're taking a history class, you're taking language classes, and on the weekends, you're going on trips to different Italian cities. And we went to Parma, Ravenna, and Padova. And in each place, sort of the morning was devoted to walking around, seeing the sites, doing a tour, and learning history about the city. And then you would have a lunch. The lunches were absolutely marvelous. Oh, and the other great thing about the lunches was they tried to sort of make the lunches themed to the area that we were in. So when we were in Parma, we had prosciutto. It was just this full plate with prosciutto on it. And they brought out one, and we sort of thought that it was sort of to share. And then it ended up that everyone was getting this massive plate full of prosciutto. So one thing that I really like is like downtown uh, during the weekends when people just walk on the streets. So you see people uh, walking around with their families, going to open air markets, um, and that sense of community is, um, is not something that you find everywhere. And Bologna is very interesting because it's, it's a small place in some ways. Um, but it's also very large too. So in some senses, it can feel like New York at night, you know, on a Saturday night. Um, and then it's Monday morning again, and it feels like a small Italian town, which um, is really wonderful. Just right behind my house, where I live on Via Palietta, you've got Giardini Margarita, Villa Ghigi, San Michele in Bosco, and so many more. It's just green nature right behind me. There are so many scenic spots and hidden treasures in Bologna.